How did this Harrier end up on a cargo ship? Well, in 1983, Royal Navy pilot Sub Lieutenant Ian Watson was conducting a NATO training exercise. He launched off of HMS Illustrious, tasked with locating a French carrier under combat conditions, turning off radar and operating in radio silence. After completing the search, Watson attempted to return back to Illustrious but got lost out at sea. He tried contacting the carrier via radio, but it had stopped working. His radar wouldn't turn back on either. It was now getting dark and he was running out of fuel. He therefore decided to head to a nearby shipping lane, and that's when he spotted it, the Alrego. His initial plan was to eject and hope the crew of the ship would save him, so he made a few flybys to catch the attention of the crew. But that's when he realized the ship was carrying cargo containers, creating a flat surface. He knew he had to try and land, so with a minute of fuel left, he used the VTOL system to attempt a landing, touching down perfectly. But seconds later, the plane rolled back, coming off the cargo containers and crushing a van. It was dicey, but he had done it. The ship then came into port in Tenerife, where the Royal Navy would later to collect the plane and repair it to fully working condition. The pilot was reprimanded and put on desk duty, but he was later allowed to fly again, clocking 2,000 hours on the Harrier and 900 on the FA-18 Hornet. But the real winners were the crew of the Alrego, because under maritime salvage law, those who save a ship, cargo, or in this case a plane out at sea is entitled to a portion of its value. So in this case, the Royal Navy paid them £570,000. That's £1.9 million in today's money.